This came from the milking that they did this morning. And it wasn't refrigerated and it wasn't heated. It just kind of sat in the pot until now. So room temperature and straight from the cow. Just no refrigeration and no pasteurization. Cuento de cuajo, media cucharita. Pour half a teaspoon of the cuajo into a glass of water with salt. Pour that in 25 liters of milk. Okay. So it's 25. 25 for one cup of water with salt and rennet. Yeah, and in, the, in that cup of water, it's half a teaspoon of rennet and or cuajo, and then half a teaspoon of salt in the cup. So this is also the tub they wash my grandmother in. So it's dual purpose. <laughs> so he was saying we wait about 25 minutes, but I think what we're trying to get to is a consistency where when you poke at it, um, the cheese doesn't fall in on itself anymore. There's like a little pool of water because what I think that they're waiting for is for the solids to kind of coagulate so that all that's left is like the leftover liquid and we're waiting for the milk solids to kind of just collect. Ew. <laughs> So we're going to leave it there and then all the solids supposedly are going to fall to the bottom if I understood correctly. Cheese! What's he doing, Michelle? He's um, pushing all of the milk solids to the bottom and all the liquid is rising to the top. It's basically saying that we're going to have fly cheese. <laughs> I think you would be an excellent cheese maker. You're very patient. So you're just slowly compressing the cheese. And, um, trying to get the liquid out and make it solidify. A delicate, time-consuming process that requires a great deal of patience. Not uh, an innate characteristic of most Venezuelans. Patience. So um, with the leftover water, what they do is often they'll mix it with um, freshly harvested milk uh -huh. and then let it sit overnight and then cream forms at the top. Um, much in the same way that um, I guess the liquid made some of those solids kind of come together. Um, it does the same like if you were to add more milk to the existing liquid, just not at the same scale. Oh. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Eso, mucho queso. <laughs> so it already looks like cheese, but it still has one more process. They're gonna cut it up and then throw it in the salt water. 10 liters of water and one kilo of salt. So the salt water makes it dry out more. Um, it makes it kind of cohese a little bit more and it makes it harder and more solid. ¿Y cuánto tiempo se va a pasar en el agua de sal? La media hora. Half an hour in the salt water. So the reason he's chopping it up so finely is so that you can introduce the salt more easily. If they were really big pieces of cheese, it would be distributed really unevenly. So um, the cuajo, or I guess what in the United States is called rennet. They basically, when they slaughter the cow, 
they'll take out um, the tripa and they'll dry it and then they'll grind it. And that's where you get it from. Ground cow intestines. The process gets more and more fun. Cheese soup. It's, um, I think an old skirt that we found in my grandmother's closet because we don't have cheesecloth. Um, but this will work just as well as cheesecloth, I think. Um, and it's festive. Esto ya no es mosca. Cheesecloth. Now I know what cheesecloth is really for. Sí. Oh my god. They're gonna put the blue top on and they'll put like something heavy, like esto, a rock, to keep esto, it. Esto va expulsando por aquí, el, la, 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 okay. el agua, el suero. To keep uh, the pressure on. Uh, and then this, slowly but surely the, the water will ooze out of the sides of the bucket. Um, and you don't refrigerate it, you keep it outside, room temperature, which here I guess is about 85 degrees right now because it's winter time. Um, and so they'll just keep it outside and let it do this for about 24 hours. So, it's been 24 hours. And it's been a little doing? bit more than 24 hours. And we're rescuing the cheese from its uh, dungeon. Some way, there's gotta be some way. 